I'm Ainty Ward, I'm a, a Vice President at CGI. I look after payment solutions for the organisation. So Net Zero Payments is a strategic concept that we put together and basically what we're doing, we're pairing payments modernisation with an ESG strategy of an organisation to try and get the most out of financial profit that's made from uh, payments modernisation and the net benefit towards the environment, so lowering our carbon footprint with the, uh, the infrastructure that we put in place. Is it's highly likely that a shared service that utilises the minimum resources to, uh, to make a highly efficient payment system will result in an outsourcing of some kind. And really that will be the outsourcing of your full payments infrastructure to a shared service team, platform as a service, if that's the right direction to go. I mean, there's a lot of benefits from this. I mean, one of the main benefits is that we can start to reduce the cost of payments on a payment by payment basis. We can reduce the cost of infrastructure. But also shifting from those legacy infrastructures which were highly energy intensive, we can start to reduce our carbon footprint. From enabling remote working, so we don't have people commuting from town to town, we can start to reduce our carbon footprint. Removing a number of components that really are energy intensive within that payments processing, we can start to reduce our, our, our carbon footprint. So really we have an ability to modernize our payment systems, make them more efficient and therefore reduce the cost of them, whilst also increasing the ability to, to make that a positive benefit for the, uh, for the environment. So there's a number of different ways that we can help. Obviously, uh, where I am in payment solutions, we look after making sure that you have the most modern payment systems that are on the market, that run in cloud, that are able to do so on in, in a proven way. But CGI also has a number of services around this, and so we've got the ability to measure your ESG impact as it starts today. So we have a, an organization that can come into your, your business, start to look at the actual physical footprint of your, uh, of your payment systems and help you to understand where the real pain points are. So we're not just targeting blanking, blanketly. There's not really sort of one size fits all for this kind of solution. It really is tailored to the individual organization so we get the most benefit out of making those changes. So certainly we're going to see this move towards cloud for uh, payment infrastructures, which hasn't necessarily happened in the past because there's been a lot of reticence about moving to cloud. So we're going to see a lot more cloud deployed systems. We're also going to see a lot of change going on because we've sort of reached the end of that ISO path. Uh, we've reached the modernization that was being completed in the first instance. Now we can start to look at the impact of those systems towards the customer. So what can we actually start to do to take all of that infrastructure we put in place and create customer benefit? And I think that's where the biggest changes will be happening in the next one to two years.